Hello and welcome to Greybeard Gaming, where this week I'm going to be taking a look at mini motorways. But before I do, I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers as we just hit 100 subscribers, which is a small milestone, but a milestone that I am celebrating nonetheless. As you can see with all the balloons and stream streamers, and I guess I forgot to get those. Uh, but anyways, we're taking a look at mini motorways. Let's jump right into it. Okay, welcome to Mini Motorways. Uh, I've played a little bit of this so far, but there is a lot of charm in this game that I want to kind of get through to you. So first off, look at this minimalism. You will find this through the entire game. Um, and right away, I'm just going to hop into options here. Um, this minimalism is followed right through to the design choices, including the, the settings, which I've never seen before. Um, you know, it's got a night mode, color by mode, some of these things. Night mode is really cool. Night mode is the way to go. Um, but even audio, I've never seen this before. Some of you might hate this. You, obviously you want a slider for your volume. Um, but in this game, it's just like, you know what? Do you want it quiet? Do you want it full? Or do you want it quieter? <laughs> and I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, we'll put it to full for the purposes of this video and we'll get to it. Let's play the game. So, Mini Motorways, as it sounds, is a game about little motorways. Oops, we're gonna keep it dark. And uh, let's start in Tokyo. That seems fun. You play for a high score as you connect houses and, and businesses. So we've got a business here. We can't change where the business exits. It's always gonna exit here. But we need to connect the, the house and the house can come out from any side. So we're gonna come out from this side. It starts out very mellow. Not a lot is going on. We've got two houses here. So I'm gonna speed up time. And as we go, some more houses and some more shops are gonna start spawning into the map. And you're just gonna have to kind of like deal with that as you go. All right, so now we have pink. And what's nice is I don't need to connect these. And I can keep these two things separate to make sure that they can always arrive where they're going on time. But at some point, it's gonna become necessary to connect my roads together but for right now I can get away with this now the first week is ending which means that we're soon going to get our first choice between two different power-ups all right so we have our week one upgrade options we have roundabout or traffic lights I'm gonna tell you always go roundabout even in the real world I don't know maybe I'm Eurocentric but roundabout seem like the way to go all right so since this is all blue we could just connect it like this but if we do, we have sort of a weird situation where coming out of the, oh man, this audio is really annoying. Coming out of the <laughs> um, the suburb, you're gonna immediately have some people trying to get off, some people trying to go forward, not a good look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these all up to a central sort of place here so that our intersections are a little bit more spaced out. So we can have an intersection that goes like that, slightly better. All right, so I can't draw outside the map right now. It hasn't grown enough, so I need to come up with something else here. And what I think I'll do is I'll have these guys go like that. There we go. And you can see down here, I still have 29 road tiles. I've got lots of road tiles left, but if these run out, then I will not be able to build any more roads. And that can cause some pretty big issues. All right, we got another pink house to deal with. Uh, or another pink business, I should say. I don't think we can sneak through here without creating a bridge, but we can if we make it do that. There we go. Now we want to keep this pink house connected as well because we want this extra traffic to be able to feed in to our pink businesses. That's fine. And connect that in. Maybe connect it this way? No. Okay. So this is going to be a very relaxing game. You can just kind of sit back and watch your cars go. Even on the fastest speed, which it's on right now, it's still a pretty calm game at the beginning. But things do tend to begin to speed up. So, we have roundabout or we have bridge. We already own two bridges right now, as you can see in the bottom. So we're just going to go with roundabout again. I guess Tokyo, you will need a lot of bridges. You can see there's a lot of river here. And if and they can spawn businesses over here on the right hand side, and I will have to just deal with it. So it's important to remember. 
and just be cognizant of what you might need coming up. If you end up not having your new bridges and a, a you know a business shows up over here, you can be SOL. Now I should mention that's how you lose the game. If you look at these businesses, they have one little uh, dinker doinker showing up here. Oh no, I can't believe I said that out loud. Uh, <laughs> and one car needs to arrive to get rid of that pin. That's that's such a bad placement for a house. He just wanted to live out in the boonies, I guess. Oh, there we go. So this business got upgraded. It needs a lot more people arriving at it now. But if a business doesn't get satiated with cars, um, then it begins a timer. And if the timer ends, that's the end of the game. So you're playing for high scores. Right now we're only at 75, but it will speed up significantly as more and more traffic starts accumulating. Motorway. So we're definitely going to take the motorway here because we don't have one yet. And a motorway can be placed anywhere and go to anywhere else. So right now, I'll actually show you right away. We'll just skip. Instead of building a bunch of infrastructure to get to this white building, I'm going to take these white houses. I'll connect them up. Um, let's get all these connected like so. Get these connected like so. And then we'll take a motorway. And we'll just drag the motorway straight over. So now there's an <laughs> there's a motorway that goes right over this poor guy's house. Connect this other white house in. Still have 38 tiles. We're doing very good. Now this is a bit of a cheat, right? Like these guys don't have to bother with any of the roads now. So like when motorways come up, it's probably a pretty good idea to grab them. They're not perfect. And one thing is, if you remove a motorway, if you remove any tiles that are roads, I should say, if there's any cars that were intending to use it, they have to finish using it before it will go away. So it can really cause a lot of problems if you have a motorway that's being used quite a bit and you need to move it or get rid of it. It can really cause you a lot of headaches. So what I'm gonna do here is I basically have all these pink houses that are sort of like a part of a neighborhood and they all come and go from this one little outlet right here. I don't know if I love that, but I don't know if I have a choice right now. Let me kind of just rebuild this a little bit. So you can just right click to remove roads, which is nice. I don't really have any options. It's kind of awkward the way these were placed, but no control over that really. Maybe I'll just have one exit which comes out over here and then they can connect up with this guy and mm, it's a longer route. Maybe I'll leave it the way it is for now and just kind of keep an eye on it and see how we like it. If it gets really bad, we can always change it later. 26 road tiles at the moment, and we're coming up on the end of the week again with 100 points and three colored businesses. For me, like a thousand points is pretty good. I'm sure you could probably do a lot better than that, but that's a pretty good run for me. Um, okay, so we get We've already got a roundabout. We've got two roundabouts actually available, so I'm just gonna go motorway again. Now motorway, you do get less tiles. You can see there I only got 10, when you usually get like 20 or sometimes even 35 if you just get tiles instead of any other upgrade. But you do get to do things like this. You can see I've still kept all of the colors separated. It's a strategy. It means that you don't have any congestion coming from wrong colors. Um, but it is hard to keep up because by the end of the game there's just so many different places that are in the way that it gets a little tough to keep up all the you know the separate colors but we haven't had really any problems with traffic so far all right so this is a good way that they usually break up your color monopolies um this is a double business so there's a blue starting there now but there will be some other color later on and of course they put the blue house to feed it because this isn't the same blue way up in the corner of the map so kind of sol i think my one option is i can remove a motorway right away um but if i remove a motorway i need to have another option to take care of it quickly and i don't really know what that would be right now um because if i get rid of the white motorway uh, no, that's actually it. It's the it's the white motorway that has to go. So away it goes. 
And we'll see how long it takes for it to go. Uh, this is what I was saying. It's pretty hard sometimes. There's a purple business now as well. Yikes. Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. So what if... What if dark blue and purple hang out? Okay. This is my idea. This is what we're going to do. White gets all together. They can go underneath here. I just hope I have enough tiles for all this. This is going to be tough. They come over here and connect. So white's connected. We still have 15 tiles. I need blue. I only have one motorway. I'm not going to be able to do this. Not quite yet. It's Saturday now. So I'll get more tiles shortly. But perhaps we just take care of... Mm, this is rough. What I wanted to do was connect both blue and purple. And then have them have a motorway to get over here. I think for now, I'm just going to make a motorway to let these guys get to their destination. And maybe just wait a little bit and hope that purple doesn't lose us the game before we get the upgrade on Sunday. That's where things start getting dicey. Alright, so we, we're going to need more bridges. We already have two roundabouts. Alright, so we have our tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect... purple in. That's really dicey now. They have to go all the way over here to get on the motorway to go down here to go through a business and we run out of tiles. Not good. Not a good solution. <sighs> what am I going to do here? What am I going to do? They really hurt me on this. So uh, maybe I don't connect this because that's a lot of extra tiles for one house. Come across here. Go up here. I think I gotta connect these. But that's bad, that's really bad. I don't wanna connect like that. That's fine. Not great, but it's fine. We could put a roundabout here. Okay. And now, I probably wanna just leave that highway where it is, but when that's done, I can put it back in. Okay. So what we'll do is we will put the highway back in, but we'll connect it up there. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it is working for the moment. Now I'm just kind of looking at the markers to find out, you know, if any of them need attention. Okay, so now they, they really messed me up here putting a pink on the other side of this road, but I do have a solution. Simply do this with the pink one and connect the blue up again. We're fine. I'm just going to try and keep them all separated because it's working well enough that why mess with it, you know? More pink structures. Ooh, they put a pink house down here as well, but mm, I don't think it's worth connecting it. Because if I connect it here, it's connecting right after the bridge, which is a place that right now is unimpeded. Uh, yellow can get connected from here. Then all the people coming commuting from this area can just move over. Um, do I have any way of cheating it through here? Probably not. It's pretty tight. Oh wow, you can. That's great news. Wonderful. That's so good. There's a lot of really tight spots you can get the, the roads to go through, which is nice. 30 more road tiles. Up to 300 points now. Oh, and there's a yellow house here that I can connect. And just looking for spots that are problems, but right now it looks like everything is swimming. I'm curious what they're going to put there. It's blue. Okay, so that does make things interesting. Without a motorway, I can't quickly connect blue to this area. Okay, and this is connected by motorway. Mm. I think what I do is I probably separate out these blue houses. So I let these four service these two buildings. 
and I have these three service this building. But it's, it's not very good. I'll, yeah, I was gonna say, I could wait and see if more blue houses spawn, which I th it looks like they will. How much tiles do I have? 30, okay. Sure thing. And we'll just see which other ones want to spawn. It's a solution to that problem. Not a great one, but a solution nonetheless. I could even connect... Whoa, what was that? Did not mean to do that. I meant to just connect that up. Alright, we have a white business over there. We could do so what I should do is wrap this around so that they all exit in the same spot and then there's an option to buy but, but um, it's fine I don't want to waste that many road tiles uh, you know what we can share we can share we can share it's time to start sharing <laughs> can't be this careful anymore we're gonna get ourselves in a lot of trouble so now we have a white business here, which is connected to these houses, which isn't ideal. I could do this. And then, okay, we already have a destination for white houses over here. So I think I'm just gonna connect these up. I think I will just wait for some more tiles. I think that is the plan. Just wait for some more tiles. They're giving me a ton of white houses, so I'm guessing they are gonna hit me with some... Okay, so I have another motorway, but I need more tiles, I think, in general. So I'm gonna actually skip on the motorway, even though I would love to take the motorway. I think I've gotta grab the bridge for the 20 tiles. So now I can connect this up. Now, I only have 10 tiles, and I need to get these white houses connected. And the quickest spot would probably be here, and leave that one house out. All right. So which places are hurting the most? The, the blues in the center are having some trouble, but they're being satiated. The white down here is having some trouble. It's getting a little dicey, but the numbers are going up quick. They're giving me a lot of purple houses, but that's because this guy got upgraded. Man, things start spawning in really quick. Now we do always have traffic jams around here, but these seem to getting to be getting satiated regardless. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, so pink is having some struggles. Where is it being fed from? We have these houses, we got this house, these, all these. We're missing one. Let's kind of keep an eye on how they get there. This area is pretty rough. Don't really know if there's much I can do about it. White's doing okay. White's actually not doing that bad. Okay, I'm gonna grab... I mean, I've got two bridges. Let's make it two roundabouts, that's fine. Having houses kind of like go onto a main road is not ideal. Causes more place for there to be traffic jams. As you can probably tell from real life, it's something that you wouldn't want. A, lo a lot of those streets in real life are very annoying when there's just like a bunch of houses that like are just on a main street. So these purple should not be having that much of an issue getting to their business. I'm not really seeing why they are. They're all connected up. They come in, they go around the roundabout. There's a little stalling there, but not bad. Is there any other issues that I should be looking at? No, purple is the main issue. Seems to be doing okay. This is gonna cause a lot of trouble. Gotta get these white houses connected, I think, at this point. Let's just do this and that. Get this guy connected. Uh, Cause we're just gonna have a lot of white demand uh, now we're gonna have a lot more dark blue demand, and I mean, they just come from one place, the dark blues, so they get there quickly. I'm not that worried about that one. Ooh, it's getting dicey. Still the purple, having a little trouble. You can see how the game just kind of ramps up and ramps up, and by this point you're just like trying to keep up. So I'm just gonna grab the road tiles. 
Okay, we got like a suburb going in up here. Now we have a new yellow building, which is high need. Now we have a bunch more purples going in up here and the purples are not connected to this road network. And I kind of don't want them to be because these two buildings are gonna need a lot of cars getting to them. And if I fill up this road with purple cars trying to get down here, it's gonna cause us some problems. We have a purple business up here. Let's hope that they just wanna stay separate. Let's do this. Oh boy, that used up a lot of tiles. A lot of tiles indeed. I'm gonna leave this blue house disconnected. Uh, so we have got these yellows. I don't know if I can connect these in yet. Maybe I'll just keep an eye open for it. Man, lots of blues coming in up here. Let's just get them connected up. There we go. Get them all connected up, get this yellow out of here. Do I need to connect up the yellows? Probably, let's see if, maybe they'll give me a motorway. Man, there's so many white houses up here. Is the need for white houses that high? Maybe. We're almost up to a thousand points. You can see the, the car is just flying in here to take care of this dark blue. Little white highway up here is doing pretty good. Is purple hurting? Purple's not really even hurting. So I'm not that, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. I'm not even gonna connect these yet. There's a red business, or pink. And, oh, there we go, a thousand points, great. Um, so the pink business, that's difficult. I really don't wanna add cars onto that line that needs to get over to those white businesses, but maybe it can connect to the yellow line? But that doesn't really help us either. Somehow I need to get over top of this. Maybe I have to wait till I get a motorway here, hopefully, let's wait and see. Come on, motorway, fingers crossed. Then I can just bypass it. No motorway, okay, fair enough. Roundabout? And we'll just put a roundabout in here and see if I can let the pinks go through maybe. I don't love it. I don't love this plan. There's also only one pink house here to even supply that, so... Man, that's rough. It's very rough. Let's get a roundabout in. How do we want to do it? Something like this. That connect in, and have that connect in. Okay. I don't think that's gonna be enough to supply that pink business. Wonder if they're gonna give me any more pink houses up there at all. Getting hit with a lot of blue tags in the bottom left. Purple's doing well. Blue's struggling in the center there. I'm gonna start getting a dial real soon. A timer. So there's another blue business that I can just connect up, no problem. Nice and close to where they need to be. Maybe I need to optimize, like this is so bad right here. Is there any way I can optimize that? If I just take this and I have it come along. No, nope, can't hit the roundabout though. I don't know if that's any better than what I had. Not sure that it is. It did maybe get more room for a blue house spawn, so maybe it was helpful. Yellow is beginning to struggle. And yellow is hard to get to. There's another house that I didn't connect though. <laughs> oh man. Oh well, that's a well-placed business. I'll take that. I'll take that business being there. Maybe I can just connect that like that. Leave this house out. This is just taking up too many row tiles for one house, it's fine. Man, this is where it gets real strategic though. 
What can I do? Not a lot. I have options for only roundabouts and uh, bridges. Don't even know if I want to connect these light blues. These light blues, I think, are being spawned to try to help with this, and it's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm not connecting that in. It, it would cause just so much congestion in, in total. Don't even know if it's worth connecting them in here, to be honest, but maybe if they're all connected in the same spot, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. They're keeping up now. I don't know if maybe that helped with the blues in the center. Traffic lights, I'm going to pass on. So traffic lights really don't help. They don't do a whole lot from my experience. So I've just been avoiding them entirely. All right, we got another purple business. So purple, all the purples come in from here and they go to this business. So why don't we just connect that just like so? And the purples can continue on their merry way. Let's maybe do it like this though. So there's a bit more of a space there. I want them to be able to get on that bridge without being impeded. Connect those up. Alright, where are we getting hurt here? I heard a I heard a timer go off. Is it with purple? It might be. That is getting real rough. This game is coming close to an end. I am scoring very high though. So I'm pretty happy about this. This is pretty good. This is a long video. Hopefully I can cut this down. <laughs> Hopefully I recorded it all and it's not like running out of space or something on my camera. That would also suck. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Take a gander. There's something I can fix here. Anything that needs fixing? Everything's doing really well. We'll grab... I've already got two roundabouts. We can take the road tiles. I've got 35 road tiles to work with now. Okay, so this this is having some struggles. Are all these houses connected? They're not. Connect those in. This is fine. Timer started there. Yellow's doing okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. Blues are doing good. Pinks are doing good. These guys are struggling a little bit. Got a whole lot of pinks here, but pinks aren't struggling. I'm not connecting them in. In fact, I can get that one out of the way too. Get strategic at this point where you're like, you know what? I'm not gonna connect this because it's just gonna cause more issues. Look at all these white cars up here. Wow, that is rough. But I think this roundabout is helping. I think it is. These blues can not connect. Because our dark blues are not struggling. There's no reason to try to connect more dark blues into the network. Okay. Another week. Over 2,000 points. I actually, This is actually the best I've ever played. I've never got this far. Not even lying. So I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so now pinks are struggling, and this pink is connected to this roadway. All right, we got to connect all these pinks in, and I'm going to do it in a way that isn't going to cause a bunch of congestion on this street. I think what I'm going to do is just have them all connect into this neighborhood, so they all kind of filter out either here or up here. Maybe I'll turn this into a roundabout. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, so have that connect. Just kind of make a little tree and make it all come up and connect into this roundabout. And then perhaps we need another roundabout here as well. So we have these guys connect into the neighborhood instead of connecting here. Add another roundabout. No roundabout there, okay. Let's see if I can make enough room to get a roundabout in here. Doesn't look like it. I think there's nowhere I can get a roundabout in there, sadly. So, in that case, it's good still because now none of this is connecting directly. They all have to go through the neighborhood and they all have to come through this roundabout to choose which way they want to go. I think that helps. A lot of times it's just you try to do a thing that helps and 
Maybe it does help, maybe it doesn't. It's hard to tell until you either win or you lose. You just kind of try and keep an eye on the traffic. Lots of places are starting to get timers now. But I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about it at this stage. Because I don't want to connect these yellows in. The yellows aren't struggling. The pinks are struggling a lot. Right here, a lot of cars are being stuck. We got a big gridlock here. Uh, I think this is going to be it. I think I just got to let it play out. Because I, I really... I'm not seeing a lot of ways I could fix this. And I've had a great run. So let's just... Call it there. <laughs> what? I made another week. No! Okay, there we go. Alright, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> All right, two fewer cars could reach their destination on time. Your city is shut down after 98 days, 2,409 commuters traveled on your roads over that time. All right, go to main menu. Take a look at my placement in the world for 2,409. Probably not that good. 19,000th, great. <laughs> but out of my friends. Oh, you guys, uh, you guys need to step it up. Gadwin and Mike. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, do throw it a like. If you enjoyed it and you haven't already, do subscribe. And if you want to tell me about what videos I should make next, go ahead and make a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Greybeard out.